so thank you very much, I mean, we'll flip through the slides later, but you have the information, and please take notes. Um, yeah, the information on the sheet I just kind of gathered from the paper. Yeah, yeah we'll move over. I'm, I'm okay, thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Nice to be here once again. Uh, been here for a couple issues in the past. Nice to see a couple former county commissioners joining us this morning as we talk about tax issues. Uh, Lorain County has three issues on the ballot this year, and I'm going to start it backwards. Uh, issue number 34 is the TB clinic issue. Uh, it's a renewal. Actually, five, six years ago, uh, when Commissioner Williams was actually in office, we cut the levy almost in half. One of the few boards commissioners who ever lowered a tax to the public, but the TB is required by Ohio Revised Code that we have services for that. It's a very minimal uh, value of a $100,000 home. It's about $2.28 a year to continue that. We've had a couple of outbreaks. Uh, Mercy Healthcare now runs the tuberculosis clinic for us. We closed our clinic. Uh, it was more cost effective and we're saving about 50% now. Uh, issue number 33 is an issue that, as we're all aware with the heroin opioid epidemic, uh, the county runs a county crime lab and our county coroner is in charge of the autopsies. Uh, as we all know, it's a significant issue in our community, I mean, not just in Lorain County, but statewide and nationwide. You read every day of people passing away. I just had a discussion with uh, Superintendent John about a friend, a child that he knew growing up just passed away. Uh, it's gotten completely out of control. It's not an inner city issue. It's not a suburban issue. It's not a rural issue. But we have children and adults dying every day. Uh, there was a post yesterday on Facebook that showed, you know, a police officer pulls over a couple. They got a baby in the back seat of the car, and they're overdosed in the front seat. Uh, we need to take these people off the street who are dealing with these drugs. I mean, people are taking elephant tranquilizers nowadays. My choice has always been scotch. But people think elephant tranquilizers are what you're going to use nowadays. Uh, but our crime lab helps local law enforcement in the testing of drugs so they can get their job done quicker. We passed a drug uh, task force levy about three years ago. This will tie into it along with giving our coroner additional dollars for autopsies. Uh, Lake County is a comparable sized county. Till, uh, Lorain County is a little bit smaller. Their county coroner uses about $1.2, $1.3 million a year doing his services. We've kept our county coroner, Steve Evans, who's a wonderful guy, does a great job, and all uh, his deputy coroners, a little bit over half a million dollars a year. Uh, the amount of autopsies that are required nowadays are extreme. So we're asking again, and that works out for your $100,000 value home, about 56 cents a year. Minimal amount of money. I mean, that's a coffee with your arm card, right? Uh, issue number 32, probably the one that is most discussed is uh, the sales tax initiative. Sales tax initiative is for a one quarter of 1% increase. The last time Lorain County had a permanent increase to their sales tax for general operations was 1985 when it was passed. There have been some temporary ones over the years. Uh, Lorain County is in the bottom four of all counties in regards to sales tax, what we charge. Uh, Cuyahoga County to our east is at 8%, as you're aware. Lorain County is at 6.5%. And Erie County is at six and three quarter percent. They actually just lowered theirs from seven percent in the past year. Uh, sales tax that operates the county. Uh, we've always run that edge right there. For those not aware, it's six and a half percent sales tax in Lorain County. Five point seven five percent is that is what goes to the state. That doesn't stay here locally. A half a percent to Lorain County operations, a quarter percent to our county jail. Uh, the county jail was implemented in 1995, was voted uh, and approved it after the fifth time. Uh, a quarter percent of the sales tax generates roughly today $9.5 million. We've got notice from Secretary Husted's office, though, that it will cost the counties with the changes in the Medicare, Medicare Medicaid uh, laws and taxable items. Lorain County is going to lose $2 to $2.4 million in their sales tax starting next year. Uh, we've had a reduction in local government funds the last seven years. 
uh, Lorain County has probably not received about 23 or 24 million dollars that we would have gotten in the past coming back from Columbus Center, an agreement we had with the state legislature. And uh, Representative Booth, I worked very closely with the last eight years with you, very good relationship. He fought very hard to try and get us our dollars back, but the state decided they'd rather put it in a range of day fund, $2 billion, instead of helping those of us up here. So local government needs to tax locally. The same thing has happened in regards to the levies on our schools. The dollars are no longer returned. So we're asking for a 4% increase. It will probably generate now, based on the newest letter from Secretary Husted, about $8.5 million instead of the 9.75 we were expecting. In that agreement, we have worked with a local organization called MOVE to help fund transit. Lorain County does not have a revenue dedicated source for county transit. County transit is an economic tool. Uh, it gets people to their jobs to make a decision. You can put more money in your own Ohio Department of Job Family Services for people not going to work, or you can help them get to work. There's a lot of explosion of retail work on our eastern county. Uh, the business owners out there are screaming for help. And if you live in Avon or Avon Lake, you normally don't live on the average wage of 10 or 11 bucks. But they need workers there who will, the Menards, uh, multiple small factories, uh, the Walmart, the Lowe's, they need workers. Uh, it's not a whole lot of money, about four and a half million dollars to be dedicated to the county transit. We get us about 14 routes, approximately 45 minute turnaround time from one end of the county to the other during rush hours. Uh, and we would hope that that would then spur additional economic development we can get people to work and get them off the rolls. I can take a few questions because as one of your principals is free market, I own a four company store, I got to open that on a Saturday for retail. I can take any questions you like. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, hi. General health tax. Avon Lake City Council just hit us with $750,000 of tax without even giving us a chance to vote on it. Our prior year's cost was about eighty to a hundred thousand the excess is going to the county why and now we turn around and find the county wants more money for this health tax general health tax is in ours that's the right county health district right no it's a separate talking. political subdivision well, this says lorraine county general health isn't that part of it or is that something separate that's separate that is how many separate that. things do we have for health and I don't want to take up time. There's just too many taxes and too many things. In the health district, there was a combination, a vote done of the board of the general health district. I'm not part of it. I wasn't there. Uh, Commissioner Lundy actually was there for the board of commissioners. We have one vote on that board uh, for combining the health districts. The city of Lorraine and the city of O'Leary have eliminated their health districts because they can't be accredited to provide the services. And Because actually, I live in the city of Lorraine. And I don't even get to vote on that issue, even though I will start paying on it next year. So I mean, that's a, you're asking me a question I don't have depth of, Mike, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, yeah, we're gonna actually hold questions to the end. Well, I've gotta go over to carpet store, so. Okay. All right, then, so. And last time you let me answer the questions before I ran out. You give me a minute or so or not? No, okay, all right. Well, thank you very much. All right, thank you.